Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can customize the default HTML submit button with an image of your choice. And then secondly, we'll show you how to activate a rollover effect on that submit button. So I've just prepared a simple form uh, in Dreamweaver. We've got a name, number, email address and URL field. And as you can see here, we've got the default submit button. And uh, this is how it's interpreted by Safari on the Mac. Now there's quite a lot of styling you can do to submit buttons through CSS, but obviously um, replacing the uh, submit button for an image of your choice gives you complete control. So if I open up the page we have in Dreamweaver, you'll see that I've just created a simple page with a bit of CSS to style it, and we have a form with the default input type submit button just there. So the first thing that we do in order to change the submit button um, to an image is to simply change the type from submit to image. So that's the first stage. And then the second thing we do is we need to source the image for our submit button. So I've already prepared the submit button just there. So I'm going to choose that. And then obviously because we're using an image, we don't need the value anymore, so we can remove the value. <coughs> so if I hit save, and I'll just upload that page. And we go back to our form. If I push refresh, you see that I've started out by replacing that submit button with the image that I've prepared a moment ago. So the second part of this is adding JavaScript to the uh, input tag to allow us to specify a rollover image. So again, if we go back into Dreamweaver, I've already prepared the over state, the over image. And what we need to do is just do a little bit of inline JavaScript so that when the cursor of the mouse hovers over the image, it will swap the image for a different one. So to do that, we use the on mouse over attribute. And we type this.src for source equals submit over dot gif. So that's the first part, so that will change the image when we hover the mouse over the submit button. But what we then want to do is restore the original image on mouse out. So to do that, we choose the on mouse out attribute. And then we, oh, I haven't spelt this correctly there. And if we copy this part, it's essentially the same, same code that we need. And we change that back from over to up. OK, so to clarify, we have the uh, input type changed from submit to image. We've specified the source of the default image. On mouse over, change the source of the image to submit over .gif. And then when the mouse comes off the submit button, we want to change it back to submit up .gif, which is our original image. So let's save and upload that. And we go back to our page, give it a little refresh and you'll see that we've got our overstate added to the button which makes it go from sort of brown to green. So I hope the tutorial has been useful. All of the code used is available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post at createdesign.co.uk forward slash blog.